Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another uh, short 30 minutes. I say short because we have so much to say and we <laughs> have to speak fast. So, but uh, anyway, uh, my name is uh, Céline Ross. I'm a genome educator in Canada. I'm in Montreal right now in my uh, sewing school. So today we're going to play with ribbon sewing guide. This is not a foot, this is an attachment. So um, you, the, the holiday are coming. Huh? So we get, we want to get ready. When we sew, we have to be ready ahead of time. So I'll teach you a few, I'll show you a few little things that I prepared and uh, maybe I'll give you ideas and uh, and maybe from my idea, you'll have your own idea. You'll develop your own ideas. Okay. So I'll switch my camera. And now you see my sample, a part of my sample, because I have more to show you after my demonstration here. So ribbon sewing guide is, um, is uh, an attachment to customize or personalize or decorate satin ribbon gros grain well um, my accent i hope you understand what i mean gros grain okay um uh, twill tape cotton tape uh, organza tape whatever you find on the, uh, at the store you can customize and personalize you know, when you buy them, <laughs> they're plain, huh? This is what I took, okay? So you see, satin, it's plain, the satin. So, of course, you can find some printed, but hey, we have a sewing machine, so why buying something that everybody has? Okay, so the attachment comes in the blister pack with six pieces. This is the guide. This is another guide to hold to hold it into place. You'll see how I'm preparing. And you have two pads here. Uh, we call them a pad, huh? I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, rubber pad, rubber pad, okay. So you have a thin one and a thick one. So like I said, it you know, it's not a, a foot, it's an attachment. So you'll use, it's, it's made to go on different model of sewing machine, Janome, of course. My machine that I'm using today is the M7, and uh, we have to attach the foot with the pad on my needle plate. But depending the model of machine you have, sometimes the attachment is here, sometimes it's here, and sometimes it's on the machine. So it depends everybody. So that's why you have two different thickness of pad and two different length of screw also. So I don't need for my machine. I'm going to I'm going to use the uh, thinner pad with the uh, shorter screw. OK, I'm using my regular foot F not regular. Sorry, satin foot F. I'm not, I'm afraid to use F2 because sometimes, you know, satin, satin uh, ribbon, they're soft, huh? they're light. And sometimes they go up here in between the two, um, those two sides here. I prefer to use the F foot with a closed toe. So I'm going to prepare, and you know, I know I saw on YouTube and... <coughs> On the social media, you know how to attach this. And I'm going to use number two, the, the opening number two, because that's the one that suits to my machine. And I have to find... Okay, I'm not attaching very tight right now, because I want to move it just in case. Okay. What I should prepare is to make sure, I hope you see well, is to make sure that, I'm taking my stylus, okay, that 
this red arrow on the F foot is aligned with that red arrow here and on the needle plate, on the plastic plate, you know, if you can match everything. If not, that's why I'm not uh, tightening the, the attachment. I can move a little bit if I want. Okay, so I think I'm pretty good now. I think I'll see later. And this is moving is to hold the um, the type of um, ribbon I will insert. Okay, so this is too close. I want to explain now what I did. It's not made to attach to fabric. It's made to we decorate the ribbon. So this one is gros grain, and the and the, the attachment can hold ribbon one eighth of an inch or three millimeter up to two point five centimeter, which is one inch. Okay, so this one is gros grain. This one is um, organza. And why do I have holes? It's because I tried the wing needle. No matter what I tell you, you have to practice. No matter what I say, you have to do your own. So I'm trying, I'm testing things, you know. So this is my little girl's name, Amaya. So I made it on, uh, and here I did it often with Di different design okay here i love to sew i love to sew i love to sew if you don't know by now okay so just to show you and another one here for a sewer you see the needle the spool these are design pictogram that i have onto my machine today i'm using the m7 but you know any, every week, any machine fits what, what I'm teaching you. So you just use your own sewing machine. Don't worry. Don't think, oh, just the M7 is doing this. No, no, no. Don't, don't worry. Okay. So these are twill tape. And you know, often, of course, we know how to decorate. Okay. You, you, you like to decorate. But it's also helpful or useful, I should say. Yeah. So I'm... Take a uh, bilingual word, blouse, okay? So let's say I made my blouse. I can wash it. I can put it in the dryer and I can iron it. So these, we don't use them often, but they're built in in many Janome machines, okay? Also, so you see the, um, I use here Chetelham um, alphabet. Here I used... I want you to see good. Uh, here I use, it's twill tape again. I use a uh, uh, script. And this one I use, it's a block, but it's a nine millimeter. So large, which is nine millimeter, and small, which is seven millimeter. So the difference uh, between uh, the regular block and the block um, a nine millimeter is you don't have... Um, uh, small letters you just have capital letters okay okay so then you see a few things here and uh, I'll show you more after I don't I, I want I want to start first okay so then I need to prepare my ribbon or whatever I'm going to use I need to prepare there's a few way I'll tell you my two favorite ones my real favorite one is with Terial Magic. I spray, I want to, okay, I spray and it stays stiff like this here. So this is, this is not, I don't know if you realize how stiff it is, but I use it on fabric also. So this one is cotton, you know, to make your pattern or your, um, your, um, just before you cut your fabric. So you see how stiff it is? So I'm using Terriel Magic. I, I, I like that. You know why I like it? Because it's stiff, it doesn't stain, washes away when you wash your garment or whatever you're doing, and you have nothing to tear behind. But when we sew, who's the real boss? <laughs> it's the fabric, huh? We have to obey to the reaction 
of the fabric. So to have it stiff like this, what do you do when you really want it? So you spray, you let it dry, and you iron it to activate uh, the um, stiffness. It's not stiff enough, second time, third time. Always let dry in between and iron, okay? So then you need to put uh, what we're doing. It's a thin, uh, thin uh, ribbon. Huh? So we need a blue tip needle guarantee. Uh, a new one is okay. And uh, you work with Janome product. Huh? So Janome Canada, anyway, I should uh, ask. Uh, Janome Canada is a distributor for Madeira product. So, or stabilizer or thread. And today I'm going to, for now, I'm going to use the cotton one. Cotona thread from Madeira. Cotona. Okay? And with the Janome tools, it sews better. Okay? So, let's start simple. Move the camera again. I would need, I would like to have a wide angle camera. That, that there's no need to move anything. Should should write to Santa Claus right away. Okay, so I I did this. I did a live in French just before, and I did this because I know where I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to wrap a gift, and the my wrapping paper is fabric. I shouldn't say wrapping paper. Huh? My wrapping is fabric. Okay. So this is the thread I have now. I just want to show you something else. Okay. So I'm, I choose here like a three. But I didn't want them one by one. I want space in between. And maybe you'll say, oh, hey, it's puckering. It's twisting a bit. Of course, it's fresh. When you iron it after you finish, look how flat. It is because it's the same ribbon here, same ribbon. So it's flat. Don't worry. So you stiff, you stiff it first with arterial magic, or tear away iron on, iron on tear away. Okay. So I'm trying this one because here I want to do different. I want you to realize and see the difference between the two of them. Okay, so I want to continue. So I will keep going. Lower my presser foot. I want to center it good. And then look. Okay, so I move these uh, guide here and I attach, screw them and now nothing is moving anymore. And I have another part that fell on the floor. So this is also a guide that will hold, you know, my satin is in between these two plexiglass uh, guide here. So how do I do this? How do I space my designs when I want design? So I'm going to choose my design first. It's in decorative here change the page because i want a three but i don't want my three one after one after one so i'm going to open my memory uh, select the three again and then go and uh, choose three straight stitches in between every three i want six okay it's up to you so I'm going to erase this because I want to show you something. So here it's one stitch, three stitch, center needle position and left needle position. Look, I don't want this, huh? I don't want a line, a three and a line on the, on the left hand side. So that this is why you have different uh, way because the designs are not always so in the center. Huh? Sometimes your needle position is... Um, is or to the right or to the left. So my machine was thread and never forget the thread holder. You don't go fast. If you go fast, you have, and if you pull, you let go. You see my two hands are here. 
I'm just guiding and I'm using start stop button. If you push pull, look at the mess. You let go, okay? So, okay, I'm not sure if I'm... Uh, no, I'll stop, I'll let it finish. And I see at the back that I'm too much on the left. So I will guide, and like I say, we test, 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 huh? This, I'm just gonna move it a little bit, keep going. Now I think I'm really better. Yeah, and I don't want to pull because you distortion. And when you do writing also, you don't go at full speed, huh? When it's fancy, you know, you be careful. You take care of the... Uh, so this one here, this satin ribbon, satin ribbon or ribbon satin, I never know how to, uh, which, which word I should say first. It's the same as uh, I love uh, sewing here, but this one I start chip with Terial Magic and this one I use the, the um, tear away iron on. Okay, now I ask my machine to stop. It'll finish the sequence of the design. It'll do the lock stitch. It'll cut the thread because I asked all of this. And it's stopping. Cut the thread. Lift the foot. Right away I make sure that I am uh, holding my thread. It's an habit, okay? And I'll pull out. So you see, I was too much to the left, okay? Oh, look at this, it's perfect here. Just by moving a little bit. So, you know, there's no secret. Test, 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 test. It's the only word, okay? So this is done. Now, it's decoration. Like, this is decoration, this is decoration, this is decoration with the space in between. So I did, I did a few. They're loose. I just tacked them once because they're loose. Uh, it's a ribbon. It's not to. This attachment is not to fix to attach ribbon to something else. Okay. Now let's do some writing on twill tape. Okay. I ask you, okay, <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> okay, now I'm coming up here. Okay, and uh, this is not good anymore. I'm going to ABC. So like I told you, huh? block script Broadway, block nine millimeter. And this is for um, people who speak another language than, the, than, than us. Okay, so let's say block nine millimeter because people really if you want to do some um, lettering to the cuff you know men's cuff color pocket not color but pocket this is the the, the writing they're using so just to prove you there's no small letter or capital letter there's just numbers and uh, signs okay so genome is j small j okay uh, no 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 big a small a big n small n big o small o genome m M E E Okay Jaja no me Okay Oh look at this It's not the same width of previously with the ribbon So but I know my positioning is good now Okay tight this tight the ribbon whoops both you have to just attach them both i want to make sure i'm okay yes 
Okay, go. And like I said, so this one has um, tear away. Yeah, I'm repeating myself. Oops, I forgot one thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. The guy, the, the holder. You know, I don't want uh, the, the 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 twill tape goes uh, left to right and start to dance. Huh? So I let go my machine, not too fast. And then I'll show you how to. Um, it's already 3 20, 20 past 3. Oh, it goes so fast. 30, 30 minutes goes like 3 minutes. On the M now, the big M and the small M. Big is 9 millimeter, small is 7 millimeter. Okay. And I'm using variegated thread. You can use a metallic thread, you can use the thread you want. Huh? Okay, cut the thread. There you go. But look, look, look at that, how nice it is. So, of course, this is not uh, as soft as the ribbon, satin ribbon. And when you finish, no matter what, you have to iron it. Gentle me, always have... Um, uh, stitches in between that you can clip without uh, being afraid that um, your your thread will uh, will go away. So all the machine, all the stitches are lock at the beginning. Start with uh, start with a lock stitch and stop with a, a lock stitch at the beginning and at the, at the end of every letters. So if you don't want the thread in between, don't worry. You can clip them like I did here. You see, I clip the thread. I clip the thread to show. Okay. And what I like when I clip the thread, I like to take my tweezers. They're right here. So I like to take the thread and really go underneath don't cut the lock stitch eh? hey look at this of course you need genome scissors huh? i don't know what genome scissors huh? okay I'm, I'm teasing now let's remove this because if you're doing your labels you can do your labels for garment for um, mm, that I don't know how to say it for uh, no, no this is a label label but I mean I was thinking also label for your quilt uh, you can just decorate your ribbon but you have to attach it to your garment look what I did here tack down ah, another one this is a big one this is a small one what did I use? Ha ha! Sewing buttons. Look what's gonna happen. I'm going to remove this from... Okay, just to show you. Again, I'm holding. And I choose my button. Okay, function. And... Start. Finish. So that's what I did here. Okay. Then you say, oh, no, no, no. I need a bigger one like this one. Okay. I'm going to ex exaggerate to the widest one. Okay. I'm going to move away. There you go. Lock stitch at the beginning, lock stitch at the end. But then, what did I do here? Look how nice it's finished. You see this when you buy a garment sometimes, okay? Look at the two, no, look at the two sides. Well, Janome has that. Janome has many things that we don't know. This one, okay? 
so but you have to be careful this start reverse straight stitch straight stitch stitch zigzag over it lock stitch cut the thread and this is exactly what i used and you can program and you can change the width the length look at this sewing buttons or tack down and you can change the width i can clip my thread no problem and my bar tack so when we say genome has a lot it doesn't have everything you know it's still a sewing machine but it's not bad at all okay and this was just an experience with Terial magic okay so this is the class now you want to see nice samples to get more ideas i'm going to remove this you saw them now they have another purpose after okay Ooh la la look at this this is fabric this is not paper so i wrap my gift in with fabric okay and i reuse them i don't sew them and i don't show the pins when i give it away but people know you know and then look at my ribbon with the variegated thread so this one has one inch wide or 2.5 centimeter and with variegated thread variegated thread variegated thread variegated thread all the way all the way okay and what is this i'm gonna tell you in french maybe it's universal poissantia poissantia okay and and you know we keep them year after year so this one i made uh, with the embroidery machine of course and people they don't throw them away they be careful and i'm telling you people who receive a gift wrapped like this they even keep the pins okay and i previously told this is why i'm doing that ribbon you know with the uh, this is for the, that purpose this one has no ribbon yet but and oh yeah and you're going to tell me look it's all uh, uh gathering or uh, but you have to iron it when it's finished huh? you iron this and it become flat like my samples so when you sew you always have little leftover sometimes just a little bit you don't have enough to uh you don't have enough you know or when you cut your thread and you cave you keep them you save them huh so it's one of the use i could use so this is glass from a nice nice boutique in montreal it's the dollar store okay and insert your um your leftover thread or yeah leftover thread and this one is an embroidery lace embroidery while this is not lace this is with fabric okay like applique technique and this is the ribbon i told you one one eighth of an inch well you cannot decorate it but you can sew over okay and well the dessert oh ho, ho, janome fabric with the ribbon so genome sewing machine genome sewing machine genome sewing machine all the way all the way all the way okay genome is red so you know that the the dealers are selling this fabric and this one is another uh, embroidery uh, free-standard lace with um standing lace with um, uh, metallic thread again with a little ribbon just to, just to show you know this is this is me uh, you'll you do something else and don't forget you know when you have those jump stitch you can clip them whoops I see I have a problem with that I don't use my uh, my tweezers okay last thing is do i get over oh no i'm still okay okay so last thing is the addendum specialty feet addendum okay 
three pages on ribbon sewing guide three pages how to install how to use it how to set your machine and ideas so it's it's uh, another um, another way another it could be another gift but um, it's really helpful you know it's a uh, teaching uh, so are you ready for Christmas look at this why do I take that why do I take that stocking because hey getting ready for Christmas look at this it fits everything fits in even the um, magnet and everything fits in and if it's not big enough <laughs> make a bigger one whoops sorry sorry so this one I have to tell you who it's from. It's from Hoop Sisters. Oh, it's so well done. Well done. All line also. Look how clean it is. This is my magnet. Okay, but look how nice they made you finish it. And they use the software uh, to do this. You, you, you recognize huh, the design from the software. So get ready take it out your stocking and week after week even this you know inside another gift ready for you okay so i'm on time i did it good yes so i'll change my camera okay so i hope you had a few ideas for sure you can find something on um, youtube and all the genome social media but you know different person you you catch a little thing one teaches different than the other one you catch a little something and then you yourself you know if i do something it makes you think of something else so just enjoy your um, ribbon sewing guide ribbon sewing guide and um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a good sewing week. Bye-bye, everybody.